This is Jonathan Nagaf here for Pro Boxing Fans. I'm joined by Craig Spider Richards here in the immediate aftermath of Jacobs. Ryder, Ryder's beating Jacobs by a split decision. Craig, what did you make of the fight? Well, it was a tight fight. It was very close. You know, Jacobs was winning early rounds and then John come on strong at the back end, but he finished stronger than Jacobs started. So it was one of them close fights and the scorecards reflected that. 115-113, um, that, that was about right. How proud are you of John? Obviously, you shared the gym with him. Very He's beaten a former two-time world champion. Yeah. Close or not, he still won the fight. I'm, I'm just happy for him, yeah, because when you look back at Boxrec, you're not trying to check the scorecards. You just look for the green or the red. L or win. He's got the win. That's it. That's all we have to think about. So I'm happy he's got the win tonight. Um, and he pushed on his career. You heard him say in the press conference, if he loses, he's done. And I didn't want to see him retired. I like John in the gym. So <laughs> it's good. I can terrorise him a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a sort of fight you'd like to see a rematch? Or would you just like to see John push on now? Nah, no. Nah, I just want to see him push on. I just want him to get the nod tonight, push on and get himself into a big fight. Win, lose or draw, I feel he deserves a good fight, a big fight, and that's it. Obviously another uh, gym mate of yours, Felix Cash, had a war with uh, Madiev down yeah. twice, but won the fight. What did you make of that? He had him on the edge of my seat, he did, really. But he won all the rounds apart from the two rounds he got dropped. And he got a 10-7 round with a point taken off. So scorecards reflected. It was, a, it, was a, it was a good, solid win. The guy was tough. Sometimes Felix mixed up with him when he didn't need to. Um, but when he boxed him in the other rounds, he boxed him, he was very comfortable. The only, the guy, only time the guy had success is when Felix stood and started trading and when he got caught twice with two flush shots. Obviously 10 months out of the ring and fight now. What is it like as a fight when you have so long out and then you have to come back? Do you feel the ring rust at all? I personally, as someone who don't, so when, like, when I boxed your camp hitters, I was 12 months out of the ring. And you saw I went and got the job done, knocked him out in the ninth round. And I kind of just have the mindset when I look at guys like Floyd, when he had 18 months out and boxed the pound for pound number two and delivered a, one of the best performances of his career. So I believe that if you're in the gym and you're staying sharp, I don't think it affects you so much. It's just if you're inactive, you're on a sofa for 12 months and then someone gives you a last minute call and you're trying to get into camp, I think it will affect you. Craig, on to you. Uh, last time we spoke, we were in the O2 after your last fight and you yeah. said to me you wanted European title or a world title, but all the talk is now Joshua Buatzi. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not expecting you to say the fight's done but that's what everyone's talking about. From your understanding, is it close? Yeah, I heard her in talks and I heard it's um, going quite well. I, I don't know where they're up to. I'm just in the gym working. So uh, by next week, I should hear more of this gone through or not gone through. So that's as far as I know. But it's just big fights. You want big fights. You know that the division's now tied up. Bivol's got his ambitions, unification fights, Canelo fights. So I'm not going to be able to knock on that door at the second. So I'm just looking at the next biggest fights I can see. I mean, you know, when we spoke, you said you, you didn't want to fight sort of... You, you were open to fighting a domestic fire, yeah. but if it was for a world it, title yeah. shot, and if it made sense, it sense, is that the reason maybe this makes sense? It could make sense, because if, if I do fight him, um, and it's like for an eliminator, a final eliminator, or something, to say, look, if you fight him, next you've got a world title shot, then it will make sense. So that's what I think... I don't, I don't know the ins and outs, but I'm sure his team and my team, that's probably what they was going through. Um, in their paperwork who knows but just making sure everything makes sense that's it and what what is your relationship with Josh uh, are you close are you you go we're back cool. we're close we're, I wouldn't say close but we're very we're cool Josh is a very cool guy I've known Josh for many years um, very nice guy he's a cool guy there's no animosity um, I respect him as a fighter and as a person um, it's just business is business um, obviously you mentioned Bivol uh, potentially fighting Canelo you fought Bivol what do you make of that fight good uh, stylistically it's weird because Bivol can box and move comfortably what people say Canelo don't like but they're basing it off the Lara fight um, but at the same time um, Bivol don't really lack inside work that much and Canelo's a master at that so they're kind of each other's uh, plus and minuses but I feel Canelo might have enough to get the job done but Bivol's a good fighter if you could say tell people one thing that Canelo might have to be wary of when he fights Bivol having faced him what would you maybe say that is um, can't really think just just don't let sli uh, early round slip away that's it and uh, final one next week Amir Khan and Kel Brook finally goes down who wins the fight Craig and Mike clue. I, I don't know you know it's, it's a fight that two good names but they're not really the characters of their names anymore are they so it, it's just good to find out who wins the grudge match but that's about it Craig, appreciate your time. Thank you.